Welcome back. You remember last time uh, we were bonding the rear windows into place, and so here is just um, a little bit of quick video just showing you them done with the um, brackets removed that were holding them in place. And you might remember a little while ago I bought this vise and I was preparing a little bit of a platform for it to sit on so we could sort of um, clamp it to the table and use the machine for milling different little bits of small metal uh, like our door locks. Anyway, that one's done now, I'll weld it up. And here's the main spar mold. Again, um, all prepped, ready for the second go around of laying that up. As you might have recalled from the last video, we had a couple of little issues with the one that we first laid up. And so we, we decided it was worthwhile laying it up again. So anyway, it's all prepped there and uh, ready to start laying that up. And this was uh, on Monday. Meanwhile, these two new plugs are progressing. Uh, they already have their first coat of um, primer on them and they've been um, pretty much all the way sanded, so they're ready for their second coat, or at least that one is, uh, ready for the second coat of primer. And here's the second one, and that just needs a little bit more sanding there, and they'll be ready for the second coat as well, and then it won't be long, and they'll be ready to uh, have the molds pulled from those. So those are parts that we really need so we can get the fuselage bonded together. And here's Jeff uh, just starting with the layup of the main spar. So I believe he just got the first um, first set of plies in there, or the first ply in there. And uh, there's when it gets laid up, there's plies on the bottom, and then and then there's a core, and there's also lots of extra strips on the top and bottom to increase the strength of it. So it takes a while to lay this one up. And here we are, a little bit further along. The first set of plies are in, and now it needs to have the three inch wide. Um, strips put on the top and bottom caps and Zach's keeping busy by sanding on this other um, upper wing skin plug so this one's had the first coat of primer and he's just sanding off the guide coat there so that's the last of the um, big wing skin plugs and Roberto and Chris were back in this afternoon as you can see they're helping Jeff uh, lay these uh, the strips that make up the upper and lower spar caps and you can see basically it's a sort of three inch wide strip and they pre-wet those with resin and then uh, Jeff carefully lays them out um, along the surface there. and with the curvature you've got to be fairly careful you don't sort of skew it or anything like that so it takes a little while to lay it down so our engine mount will be arriving tomorrow so in the meantime I've got to create a bracket that is going to help me align the engine within the mount um, because we don't really have any other way of doing it so I've got the flywheel here in this six bolt holes there and I'll be creating um, a fixture that helps align those bolt holes to the rest of the engine mount. And I don't believe I've shown you this yet but this is our LPEX adapter that arrived um, a week or so ago and this is uh, what basically joins the engine to the belt drive system and provides the damping there with that rubber um, sort of insert there so vibration doesn't get transferred from the prop to the engine and back and forth. But anyway you'll see more of that later. So working in uh, the CAD again, I've designed this fixture um, for aligning the engine in the mount. So there's the flywheel, and these are two of the back brackets there of the engine mount that I'm using for reference. And that's a ring there that um, holds the gear drive or the belt drive. And so, and then there's a, a last bracket there that bolts up to the bell housing. So anyway, these bits I'm highlighting here, those are the actual bracket that I'm going to create and so it'll bolt up to the flywheel and then help me align the whole engine in the rest of the engine mount. And you'll get to see this, how I, how I do it later. But anyway, that's basically what that thing looks like. And so here's a couple of the pieces there at the bottom there that I've created, just, you know, just cut them, cut them out of, uh, you know, two by two and two by four steel. And there's the top piece with already with the holes and stuff drilled in it. And that'll be welded up tomorrow. So I'll be able to line up the engine. And here's the guys a little bit further along. They're starting to put the core in um, to the uh, for the main spar there and the core has to be sort of you know wet down with um, a mix of resin and cabasil as well so it's not just dry when it goes in there and here you can see Roberto just with a squeegee just um, sort of wetting down that that piece of core again with resin and the uh, cabasil mixture and it helps it kind of bond to uh, the carbon fiber as well and there's one of the hard points where the hole gets drilled through uh, for the bolt that um, is used to bolt the wing to the main spar. And there's the one on the other side. So I left the guys uh, late this evening at the shop and we were just finishing this off. 
and um, there's still a little bit more work to be done tomorrow but anyway it should be laid up and finished uh, by tomorrow so that's our update for the first half of this week and uh, thanks again for watching